Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take a coloring page that you can find anywhere and turn it into an SVG. And so you see when I click on this, it doesn't show up anything because it's not done yet. Okay, so go to image trace. Again, if you can't find it over, you know, over here, click on window and then select it. Come there. So I've got it selected here. And it's already so to see what you're doing, you can hit preview. I usually wait until after it kind of selects some of these because it just takes a minute at, after every time you change something. So it really depends on the image, but I usually start off with like the one on the noise corners that kind of leave it where it is for right now and then paths that kind of put it anywhere in between the 80 mark and then I leave that there for now I click on ignore white because I just want the outer line work and then preview and it's processing it kind of takes a minute sometimes nope it didn't show it this time so this is what it'll look like with the settings that I have, right? I'm going to go ahead and change some stuff up so you can kind of see if I move that up, see how it gets a lot thicker versus if I move it down, so the lines don't really, you know, um, so if I was to get rid of corners, it didn't really do a whole lot on this one right here. If I get rid of the noise, that's basically if you're trying to bring up something that has extra line work, that kind of gets rid of it. The noise is all the little fine details there. So if you were to, the higher you get it up, all those extras kind of, it gets rid of them. See, like if you have it up to 100 pixels there, it gets rid of his eyebrow there. That's kind of why I have it down here. Or if there was like, lines back there would help get rid of it. Go and just kind of put kind of over here. Okay, so I like him how he is. And this is how I want the final SVG to look like. With it selected, you go to Object, Expand, kind of the same way you do with text, make sure those two are clicked and hit OK. And just out of habit, I always click on Unite. It just connects everything together. Okay, and so he is all ready. So I'm also going to show you how to create like a full colored layer. I'm just going to move him over here. So you want to make sure your Pathfinder's up here. If it's not showing, go to Window, down to Pathfinder so it comes up. So I use the direct selection tool. I left click and hold it and drag it. And I click on to shape builder. The first time you do this, no matter what you select, this first one you, you click, it's going to be black. Select out of it. If you don't and you do this next part, it's going to change everything to that color. Click on here with the left click, double click on the color, the fill here, and then, you know, just pick the color you want. If it, after you do this, if it turns a gray color, you'll have to fix the, um, yeah, you'll have to fix the colors. Hit edit. Sometimes this happens when you open up a new um, canvas and then, you know, convert to the color when you want if the RGB is grayed out select on this one if that you know vice versa okay so now with it still selected you can double click and you know pull up the color that you want okay so after you change it make sure you select out of it because you don't want it you know to pop up that way so if I wanted if that's all I wanted I would you know make sure to select out of it click you know the color you'd want for the bear and then left click, hold it, and drag. 
over the entire area you want to do, click on the Shape Builder tool, and then just start clicking the areas you'd want to be yellow. Okay, so I these are all the areas I want to be yellow. I want to click on the Direct Selection tool. Make sure to click out of it. Select, same, fill and stroke. You see how it's selected all those areas I wanted yellow. Then click on Unite. Now if I were to click on here and drag it over, all of that would just move over. It's now one. I'm going to hit on Undo so everything goes back there. And so I click out of it here. I want the Direct Selection tool. So the reason I if I just wanted to, let's say, make the hat red, I can just draw over here and then I could go in and, you know, make, make it red. Obviously, I forgot to, you know, change it to red first. Let's go here. There we go. If I wanted to do a shirt red too, and if I didn't draw over it when I went to color it, see this whole area would turn red. That's, you know, it's when you're true doing to fill in the outline that kind of, it works to help fill in a lot of those areas a lot faster, but whatever colors you want to color in that color, make sure you, you know, drag and select over all of it. Then, so, and then again, whichever ones I want red, select same fill stroke, and unite. I'm gonna kind of just put random colors here. Definitely not Christmas colors, but then same select fill stroke. So I'm kind of just gonna go in here and fill these in. Anytime I want want, anytime I want white, I just do the eyedropper and click on the canvas. It's just quick and easy. And fill here. And I click out of the area before I hit select. If you don't, it'll, you know, make everything that color, so. I'm going to kind of just um, repeat my steps here. There we go. And same, fill stroke, and unite. Okay, so now that I have all my colors, I'm going to make some extra layers here. Usually I do this beforehand. I kind of just skipped it to show you how to do that part. So since I forgot to make a few copies of just the outline, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I have the, the black here selected same fill stroke so just the black is selected i'm going to hit copy i'm going to select out of here and hide this i'm going to make sure i'm on this next layer i'm going to click place and place when i do that it goes directly on there so it's going to overlap each other right so i'm going to do this a few times on each layer here if i was to hit just paste see how it's kind of off centered There we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this one. This one's going to be my outline. You do not have to label them or name them or anything, but I usually do, you know, one for the outline, the current one I'm working on, an extra one, and then a outline one for or the, the full solid black line. 
So like I was saying earlier, so if I was to just select a portion, I'm going to go in here and fill it in and see those areas. But I, when I draw the line, I make sure to, because the way I do it, I want this little section right here to stay w without any coloring because in the image, there's nothing right here. So I don't want anything to be there. So when I draw and select, I want to be able to just quickly, you know, select on an area if I was to just... I was to just, you know, do it this way. It's going to do the whole thing, which I don't really want to do that. So when I draw it in, I want to make sure that part's in there like this, and it's just easier. And then you see all these little areas. You could sit here, you know, and kind of I'm just clicking and dragging it this way. Or you can hit Unite, and it does it all, so you don't have to sit there and do each piece, right? Okay, so this little guy is ready to go. I'm going to hide this one right here, this solid black layer, with my black still selected. I'm going to select same fill and stroke. Now, just, and now I'm going to hit just backspace. It's going to delete all of those outlines, but you see all of those shapes I did are still there. I didn't fill in this part at all, and so that block's just gonna show up. So, there we go. So, with the selection tool selected, I'm going to left click and just drag over ju just a section of it, and so it'll pick up the whole thing. You're gonna click on Object, and you're gonna click Group. And, mm, Yep, that I did not select the whole thing right here. So I'm going to go undo. Okay. And that's why it did that because I did not have the whole thing. There we go. Okay, so now the whole thing is selected there. So bring this guy up, hide that outer layer. And it's already deleted, so... I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm just going to grab a section of him and I'm going to go to group. And now all of that outer layer is gone and he is right here. And that's it. And I'm going to bring up my outline. I like him to be there and I'll delete that extra layer. I always have that one there. I'm going to hit no here actually. I'm going to go back so I can show you how to um, like cut out an area. That's usually how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this, this whole area here. Like if I messed up and I needed that section out or if I was taking something and I wanted to, you know, cut, cut a section out, right? Oops, I had, I had both of these visible, so I just did that to all of them. So let's just, that's why you have to hide them <laughs> in, you know, that's why you kind of have to hide them, the layers, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I... So let's say I did this and it's been all these steps and I don't really want to undo it and have to like recolor and all that. I'm going to go ahead and hide these other layers here. I'm going to go in here. And it's easier for me if I just pick another color, right? And this layer is still on gray. So go to edit. All right, your color has to be selected here. Uh, the coloring has to be selected. Let's go here and then edit, edit colors. And there we go. 
Okay, so the reason it's, you can just go, if it's just one, you just go, you know, cut, and then you can place it wherever, right? But, oh, let me go, and place to place. The reason I like to pick colors, because if there's a few of them, like, let's say I wanted to remove, let's just throw a bunch of random in here, okay. Let's say there's more than one. This is why I like to do the color. It's just I do it out of habit. I wanted, instead of just this one section going back and forth, you know, cut, paste in place, and all that, I want to do all of them. Select, same, fill in stroke, unite. It's going to be all one. And I'm going to cut all of this at once. I'm going to hide that layer so I don't do it to all of them. I'm going to select that solid and I'm going to hit edit, paste in place. So now it's all there and I can just drag and select it over with the selection tool. And I'm going to click on minus. That's because, uh, there we go. It's not going to work if you have those. So just hit Unite to fix that. There we go. Uh, okay, there we go. That's right, I remade that one. Okay, so now, now you can click on... Uh, All right, hold on here. Let me just make that all one. There we go. Okay, now that that's all one, okay, so now I can click on paste in place. There we go. It has to be all connected, and now it's out of there, and I could, you know, bring that in, and it would cover, you know, get rid of all those areas. Sorry, I forgot that I <laughs> that I had started over with that solid black outline, but that that's how you do it. This button right here is the minus front, and if there's too many, it doesn't know which areas to minus out. So I'll delete this one. 